Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Back to my boxing. Now, man, crazy news, man. Shocking, shocking news, actually. News I, I actually didn't know about. Now, apparently, Gerald Miller, man, he's been talking to Tyson Fury, man. He's been talking to Tyson Fury. And after the fight with uh, Tyson Fury and Tom Schwartz, Jared Miller came and congratulated Tyson Fury about his performance. And people were rumoring a fight between Tyson Fury and Gerald Miller. Now, it turns out that Gerald Miller and Tyson Fury actually have the same co-promoter. And his name is Dimit Dimitri Salida. So apparently, Tyson Fury and Gerald Miller have the same promoter. Which is shocking to me. I didn't know that. At least co-promoter. Co you know, um, it's wild because people think that, you know, there is no similarity because Tyson Fury is with ESPN and uh, Gerald Miller is with uh, PBC and Al Heyman. But no, man, they actually have some similarities. One being the co-promoter. And in fact, he actually said that it would be a mega event. Now, the, I'm going to get exactly what he said, right? It says, the co-promoter for unbeaten heavyweight contender Gerald Miller believes a bout between Tyson Fury can become a mega event, right? And they're already talking about um, this being an event happening in September, October, right? It says, afterward, Miller was named as a potential fall, uh, fall, opponent, fall opponent for Fury, who was scheduled to fight again in September or October. So that's a shock to me, man. I didn't know that actually um, these people were going to be fighting each other. <laughs> that soon, September, October. That's exactly, that's around the same time, around the same time, I think Josh is going to fight. And this is good, man. I really want to see Tyson Fury fight a top 10 opponent that's not ranked in the WBO, you know, that's actually ranked in other organizations. And Jill Miller is actually pretty highly ranked. And he's beating some decent opponents like uh, Jared Washington. Um, he's beating some top guys, you know. I, I just really hope there's testing in this fight. You know, I don't want any excuses in this fight. Uh, and I don't want any funny business happening. You know, I really want to see the best fighting the best, and I want to make sure these fires are clean. <laughs> the crazy thing is, it's wild, because if you guys didn't know, when Tyson Fury had all the titles, not only was he on drugs, but he actually had um, elevated testosterone, or he was on some kind of PEDS, I'm not sure exactly, but Tyson Fury was on some kind of testosterone or PEDS when he got stripped from the Klitschko title. You know, um, it was wild because they're hiding under wraps. Now, I don't think they're going to say anything about it, but Tyson Fury didn't want to rematch uh, Vladimir Klitschko. And when he basically pulled out the fight, that's when all the news came out about his substance abuse and his, um, you know, pet abuse as well. Crazy thing is, uh, Gerald Miller, the same thing. Yeah, he's not on drugs or anything like that, but he was definitely on that juice. And he was on mul mul multiple drugs. Uh, uh, enhancing drugs so Joe Miller and Tyson Fury have been caught on on that on that juice and then now they're fighting each other good fight for both fighters you know I can't really feel bad for either or <laughs> you know I can't really feel bad for either or but me personally I think this is a really good fight I think Joe Miller is going to come bring it you know hopefully he comes and fight and he don't you know just come for the check you know um me personally I, I really would love to see the Anthony Joshua um Joe Miller fight still but Josh Joshua's going to be tied for Andy Reeves for a while, you know, it looks like. So um, we're going to see how everything unfolds, man. But I'm really excited to see that um, Joe Miller and Tyson Fury actually have something in common as far as promotion goes because that makes this fight this that much more feasible. You know, it's not much of a rumor anymore. It's more of a reality because their camps and their teams are basically, they have similarities, right? So that being said, man, if, um, Tyson Fury, I feel like, he made his American debut, and that debut wasn't really an American debut. You can't have that fighting a German fighter in America. You know, that's not American debut. That's like, that's just not that's not really a qualified as an American debut. Yeah, you fought in America, but you fought a foreigner. You know, at least if you're going to fight in America and have an American debut, fight the local tough guy in, in you know, whatever state you're in. And, you know, Tyson Fury should have been fighting the best in New York and the best in New York is Jared Miller by far, you know, you know, I, st I still think he's a really good fighter, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't think he was on drugs all the time, you know, uh, we're going to see how he performs without the juice uh, when he fights Tyson Fury, so, you know, this, in my opinion, would be his true American debut against uh, Jared Miller, 
let me know you guys feel about it though you guys think this is gonna be a good fight do you guys want uh, tyson fury to fight somebody else do you guys want want to see him fight a Dillian white maybe a loose ortiz maybe a kanowski you know there's a lot of fights fighters that uh tyson fury can fight you know so yeah man i really want tyson fury to be fighting tougher fighters though you know there's no way these containers should be fighting tougher opposition than champions you know and i feel like tyson fury could definitely up his competition he really do he really does he really does so let me know how you guys feel about it though you know i really want to see a consistent tyson fury like fight elite level fighters consistently he'll, he'll just stay in better shape for it you know i think it'll challenge him more um i talked about how in the tom sports fight he actually gained weight um prior to, to, the, to the fight, you know, um, before the Tom Schwartz fight, he fought Deontay Wilder, and he was actually lighter for Deontay Wilder fight than he was for Tom Schwartz, right, hopefully he starts losing that weight again, because Tyson Fury, man, for a guy who likes to box and move and uses head movement, he really does need to get in shape, man, because I, I know some people will think that's normal, and some people just aren't built to be in shape, but Tyson Fury, if he wants to get in shape, he could get in shape, you know, because he was way bigger before, and he dropped the weight quick. So that being said, he can definitely, you know, lose that weight if you really wanted to. So, yeah, let, let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Do you guys want him to see him fight um, Joe Miller? I think that's the perfect fight for him, in my opinion. This is the, real, the fight to really give him his real American debut, fighting an American fighter. Makes sense to me. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobastic Empire. Peace.